Hey, 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 it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. Back at you with what's happening in the world of boxing today. Oh man, we got a lot going on this uh, week thus far. I guess the biggest thing would be that uh, Tank and uh, Ryan Garcia had their press conferences. They had one in New York City and they had the other one uh, in uh, Beverly Hills, California. And uh, both of them went good. I mean, the first one, <laughs> uh, Javante was a tad bit late, like, you know, maybe two hours, but you know, you know how A-sides do. <laughs> but Ryan Garcia was not having it. He was totally upset about the whole situation. And he said that uh, Tank was very unprofessional. But uh, Tank, you know, Tank is Tank. Tank came in, he laid his law. And they talked their shit, and that's how it went down. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that particular fight. I think it's going to be a typical uh, tank fight, whereas tank uh, starts slow, takes inventory, just like how Bud Crawford does, downloads the information, and then on that second half, he press on the gas and gets his man out of the game. So that's pretty much how I predict that fight goes down. I hope that it does very good numbers. They've also said that uh, it sold out yesterday. As soon as it started, it sold, it sold out. So any tickets that you get down, from what I understand, that's going to be from the, uh, the aftermarket. So you're going to pay pretty much twice as much as what it was. And I think that they said that the nosebleed section started at 700 anyway. So it's going to be a lot of people excluded from being able to go to that fight, being as though that they're talking top numbers, top dollars, and Tank also said that there will not be any free tickets for this one. So there you have it. What else we got going on in uh, boxing this week? Uh, Tyson Fury put out a uh, video the other day, yesterday actually, and in the video, he said to Usus, listen here, you're worth no more than 30%. So here's the deal. We can get a fight done, but it's going to have to be 70-30 my way. And if you don't like that, go ahead and fight uh, Dubois for, uh, you know, for a couple of million. But if he wants to fight me, it's going to be 70-30, no uh, negotiations. And every day that you take, to make a decision, he was going to take one, one, uh, one point off. So if it's 30 today, it's 29 tomorrow. But uh, you know what? Usis took no time answering the bell. He came back and said, hey, greedy belly, uh, I, I accept your uh, 30%. Also, he said, now, you know, his English is a little rough, but he also said, once the fight is over, I want you to donate one million pounds to uh, Ukraine. So uh, there you have it. And they both notified the WBA or C that they are taking the fight. And we're going to have an undisputed fight for heavyweight uh, primacy, you know, supremacy. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to be an excellent fight. I think uh, uh, Tyson, for him to win, he's going to have to play the big man as he is and uh, put his weight on uh, Usus as much as possible and uh, just make it a rough and tough fight, you know what I mean, for Usus. For Usus to win, he needs to uh, be smart and not allow uh, Fury to just lean all that weight on him. You know, because if he do, he's going to get tired quickly. And uh, he's, when you get tired, that's when you start making mistakes. And lately, Fury's been kind of a knockout artist lately. So if that 6'9", damn near 300-pound man lay level on you, trust me, you're going down. It's, it's just uh, uh, basic, uh, <laughs> basic logic, man, that... Uh, if that big man puts his hands on you, you will fall down. Moving forward, we even got some information that uh, 
Devin Haney and uh, Lomachenko has uh, finalized as well. And uh, they're going to be fighting, uh, I believe, in uh, May, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that's going to be right after Ramadan, you know what I mean? So that's going to be a little tough on Haney, being as though that he's going to have to be doing all his training during Ramadan, and that means that from sun up to sundown, he can't do any eating. And you need food in your system to actually train. So, uh, you know, and, you know, top rank, to be truthfully honest, I really think they want Lomachenko to win, and so they'd be able to keep those belts right there at top rank, you know. So, because Haney actually wanted to do the fight uh, in March, you know, uh, yeah, in late February, early March, because he wanted to do before Ramadan kicked in. But uh, for some reason, that didn't happen, you know. So, you know, in that particular aspect, the odds are in Lomachenko's, uh, uh, his way. Uh, Devin Haney, uh, I feel, though, should win this fight. He's the bigger man. He has a beautiful jab, and he's an intelligent boxer. You know, Lomachenko as well is the same, but he's a little, you know, longer in the tooth. He's getting older. Uh, it's a young man's game. I always say that. And I just feel, though, that uh, Devin will do everything that he needs to do to win that particular fight. Okay? What we got going on tonight, we got a uh, Tim Zhu against Tony Harrison in Australia, mate. That's right. They're going to be fighting in Australia uh, tonight. It's going to be shown on Showtime. For what I understand, when I looked it up, they say that the uh, card don't even start till 1045 and don't expect uh, Tim Zhu and Harrison to fight until around 130, 145 in the morning. That's right. But, you know, they're in Australia, so it's a big big difference in time there and here. So uh, I've been going back and forth in that particular fight and who I think is going to win that fight. And uh, you got Tony Harris with the uh, more experience. Uh, he's a great boxer. He knows how to control uh, range and distance and everything. Um, but my thing is, he hasn't been fighting a lot lately. You know what I mean? And uh, that chin is a little way bit soft. So uh, I feel that Zoo, that I feel though is definitely not a better boxer than um, Harrison. But I think he's going to want this more. And I think he's going to make it an ugly fight. And he's really going to put the press on Tony Harrison. Now, keep in mind, I do feel though this is a 50-50 fight. Uh, Harrison is talking too much about Jamel Charlo instead of keeping his mind on Tim Zhu. And if you all don't know, uh, Tim Zhu is the son to the uh, former ch champion Costa Zhu. You remember Costa Zhu? He's the one that put that thing on uh, Zab Judah where Judah just went off in the ring on everybody, you know. And uh, Costa Zhu hit Zab with one of those mule punches, and Zab had no controls of his faculties, his body. His, he stood up, and his legs just told him they were doing something else. And, you know, you got to go back and see the knockdown of uh, Zab Judah with uh, Tim uh, Costa Zhu against Zab Judah. Because, I mean, you're talking about no control of your your legs whatsoever. <laughs> His legs are like, see ya. But, yeah, definitely check that out. Also, make sure that you uh, like this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you're watching us right now. You know, that is so important, you know. And the good thing about it is it's not going to cost you one iota, not one cent. All you have to do is just, bam, hit that like button. If you could do it for me right now, that'd be much appreciative because what that does is actually help 
this video move better and the whole channel move better in the algorithms. So if you can just out of your, you know, your kind heart <laughs> to hit that button and say, hey, I like this video or tell somebody about it or make a comment. Tell me what you think about what I said. I mean, it could be good, bad or indifferent. You know what I mean? I, I got tough skin so I can handle it. Well, you know what? It's your boy, Jay Hardcore, a hardcore boxing news, and I'm out of here.